In the aftermath of World War II, Japan was left in ruins. Its cities, industries, and transportation networks were decimated, and the country faced a severe shortage of food. But what happened next was nothing short of miraculous. Under the leadership of General Douglas A. MacArthur, the United States occupied Japan and initiated a period of rapid social and institutional change. From 1945 to 1952, the U.S. occupying forces enacted widespread military, political, economic, and social reforms that would shape the future of the nation. The occupation aimed to demilitarize Japan, ensuring it would never again become a threat to peace. It also sought to establish a democratic political system that guaranteed individual rights and protected the people. And perhaps most importantly, the occupation aimed to rebuild Japan's economy, creating a foundation for a peaceful and democratic society. During this time, the Allied forces implemented various measures to achieve these goals. They demobilized the armed forces, repatriated Japanese troops and civilians abroad, and disbanded the empire. State Shinto was disestablished, nationalist organizations were abolished, and Japan's armament industries were dismantled. In the economic field, land reform was introduced to benefit tenant farmers and reduce the power of wealthy landowners who had supported Japanese expansionism. The large Japanese business conglomerates, known as Zaibatsu, were also broken up to pave the way for a free market capitalist system. The cooperation between the Japanese and the Allied powers was relatively smooth, at least initially. However, as the Cold War intensified, the United States began acting more in its own self-interests. They reintroduced the persecution of communists, stationed more troops in Japan, and pushed for the establishment of Japan's own self-defense force, despite the anti-war article in the Constitution. Despite these challenges, Japan's transformation continued. With the peace treaty in 1952, the occupation officially ended, and Japan's self-defense force was established in 1954. The country experienced unprecedented economic growth and social change from 1952 to 1973, regaining its pre-war industrial output and becoming a mass consumer society. Photographs from this era capture the essence of Japan's transformation. Women greeting repatriated Japanese soldiers, children playing on the deck of a ship, and workers sorting cultured pearls all showcase the resilience and determination of the Japanese people. These images also reveal the impact of American influence on Japanese society. From a replica of Mt. Rushmore at an American fair to the popularity of American wrestling and rock and roll music, Japan embraced elements of Western culture while still maintaining its unique identity. But not everything was smooth sailing. Pro-communist demonstrations, riots, and the lingering scars of the atomic bomb in Hiroshima serve as reminders of the challenges Japan faced during this period. As we look back on these photographs, we gain a deeper understanding of Japan's journey from devastation to prosperity. They remind us of the power of resilience, the importance of cooperation, and the enduring spirit of the Japanese people.